Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 20 and possibly the final episode of Western United because we are hosting Guandao Evergrande and we need to win. Well, we're 2-0 down basically. We need to keep a clean sheet and score three goals. So simple. What could possibly go wrong there? Now, a little bit to catch you up on um, since last episode where, of course, we dug ourselves in this hole after, of course, a sensational comeback against uh, Beijing in, in the second leg there to win 3-0 away from home. We went back to China. Uh, where are we here? And it didn't go didn't go so well. We never, ever laid a glove on them. It was a really, really disappointing performance from us. Uh, of course, we were. We are still in preseason, of course. But things have picked up since then. Uh, we've played a couple of extra games. You can see we played Sydney FC in the FFA Cup second round. We did get in. We did end up getting in our uh, car. What's his name? Cos Cosimo Marco de Gracia. We can't register him in the Champions League squad. On debut, two goals. It was absolutely sensational. Looked a class above everybody else on the pitch. Um, yeah, and of course we can't use him in the Champions League because he didn't get his work permit in time despite us having agreed a deal. So there we go. That is really, really frustrating. We played a couple of extra games. Um, so hopefully, uh, well, with that much more match fit, with that much more hopefully coherent, we're getting used to what players need to play in what position. The cohesion is still roughly the same. You will notice no one's unhappy. Francois is now happy to stay. Um, so that will hopefully improve his uh, his mood uh, and his morale. But there we go. So there's still a Fabiano, Ca Fabio Cannavaro coach team. There's still everything still the same here as of well, last episode. Adventurous standard playing style. We still don't get analysis reports, which is frustrating. But what can you do? Uh, not much. And this is the team that we're sending out. You'll notice a few changes to the team. Um, yeah, and we're just kind of hoping at this point for a miracle. So T continues in goal. Uh, Vucha comes in. Now, Corey Brown was suspended in any case, but he has picked up an injury now as well, just to make sure he was out. Bailey Wright, we're going to give Aladdin uh, a first game here. He's a good defender, um, so we're going to give him a game uh, with Risden back fit on the right, though not really match sharp, but fit. Connor Chapman, we're going to give him a game as a deep line playmaker. He's better defensively, and there's nothing about his game that says he can't play as a deep line playmaker. Pasquale goes in a little bit more of an advanced role. Economides on the right, De Silva in the middle, Georgie on the left with Vidicic up top. <sighs> Let's hope for a miracle, boys. Now, of course, if we don't get that miracle and we crash out here, there will be the end of season awards at the end of this, as I said, and of course, goal of the season as well. So a lot to stick around for. Uh, we should challenge pick up where they left off. I mean, we were good against Sydney FC. Um, have won three of their last five games. We've performed the best. We can deny them here. Let's go with that. Um, we can we can only say that calmly. So that's maybe a good thing. Let's just go with some calm. We have faith. <sighs> yeah, let's just go. And here it is at home, needing a clean sheet and goals. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know what to expect. The Curie is looks like he's back fit. Uh, but perhaps not match sharp or not not maybe 90 minutes fit. Um, yeah, I mean, needless to say, we cannot afford to get, to concede the first goal here. Uh, oh, what is that defending? What is that defending? Is that Bailey Wright? Elkerson is in, and Elkerson has scored. It could hardly have got any worse, and I think it was Bailey, was it Vucic, or was it Bailey Wright that just let him go? Boys, come on, demand more. It was looking as though it's Bailey Wright. He's just... I don't know what he's doing there. He stepped up when he... I don't know. Goalkeeper was left very, very exposed. And that means we need four. Uh, so that makes it extremely difficult now, doesn't it? Um, can Bailey Wright do a little bit better here? I really hope we just don't... We just don't go sort of crashing out in a ball of flames here. That would be just a really disappointing way to end the series. Even if, you know, if we can maybe win on the night. Get, take something from this. Uh, ball across, well won there by Risden, but it has fallen back out there to the Guanzhou midfield. They just look a better team than us, don't they? I do wonder, you know, if we were to play them at the end of the season once we've, we've had a chance to sort of get all our players playing well, know their best positions, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I do wonder if that would have made a difference, but as things stand right here, I mean, that is, that is game over, isn't it? We now need five goals. It can be done, I'm sure. I, I did toy with the idea of maybe going back to sort of the, the, the was it the narrow, the diamond 4-4-2, four, 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 I guess, or whatever you want to call it, um, because it was so so effective against Beijing. The problem now is that we've, I mean, we don't have, we lack, up, we lack up front, basically. We don't have the strikers. 
Um, the people who were supposed... Good tackle by Risden there. The people who were supposed to come in didn't get their work permits in time, and it's just left us really short up front, which is unfortunate. So playing two up front, when we, it's a weakness that we have. I just don't see how that would have worked. I do wonder, maybe from the first leg, if we should have played Connor Chapman as a DM in that one and perhaps been a little bit more cautious away from home. Here we go with Connor Medes. He gets past his man. Can he put a finish at the end of his move? Can he pull it back? Oh, he's put it across the face of goal. It looks like it's a corner, so the goalkeeper may have saved it. He did so well to the end. Risden now to knock the corner in. Can we get on the end of it? Connor Medes is there, and it's saved again. Was it Aladdin with the header? I didn't quite catch who it was. Um, Security has kept possession there up against Risden. They've gone... Oh, 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 Bailey Wright's got to go. Uh, that is absolutely woeful defending from our captain. And Cameron Burgess can come on because he's just having an absolute nightmare. He cost us one goal already. And we're, not, we're just not going to stuff around with it. We can't afford it. I mean, we already can't afford it. Let's face it. We've, the damage is probably... Or has been done. Um, a good punch there from our goalkeeper. Can we get on the end of it, though? It doesn't look like we can. It's still with Guang Zhao. Another good header there from Risden. We're, we're not defending too badly. We did change a few things. Economides has done well there to pick that up. I'll show you at the end of this highlight here. 25 minutes in. Can we get ourselves on the score sheet? He's done really well, and the highlight just randomly ends. Um, we're defending sort of a bit more narrow, just trying to, and, and close together, just trying to stop them from playing. As we've seen, it hasn't particularly worked so far. Um... The plan was to try and stop them playing, nick the ball off them, and, and go from there. Economides has done okay there. He's, tell you what, the Silver's picked up a loose ball, Vidasic. Still no goal to be had. Chapman has kept possession well there. We're, I mean, we've come back into it nicely, but it's a bit too late now, isn't it? We are getting we are getting highlights. Um, the Silver back for Pasquale. Do we look to... Can we use the fullbacks here, please? Oh, Georgie's done really well there. Georgie, can he square it? He can. Vitasic! And we still cannot score a goal. That right there, we have seen the problem with our striking options. I mean, Vitasic is a decent striker. He has been a decent striker for us. The problem is that he's aging. Uh, and he's aging relatively quickly, to be honest. Um, but he doesn't have the finishing. He's more of a creative player. We have lots of creative players. We just needed somebody to stick it away. Economides! What's happened there? The keeper's just... It's hit him in the face and gone onto the crossbar. It's just not meant to be, is it? What do we need to do? And if we can see the third here, it was just cruel. Oh, and they've hit the crossbar. And luckily, it has been off the line uh, by something there. It's offside, it looks like. Let's give them a concentrate. Um, again, we, I mean, we've got Reese Gardner as our st st backup striking option on the bench. Do we bring him on for Vitasic, perhaps, who's just not had a good day? Uh, we just might. We've got really nothing to lose. Um, can we just give it a passionate, let's give the fans something to cheer here, boys. I, there's nothing else to say, really, is there? Um, yeah, it's just, it's so disappointing. It looks as though this is the way, this is, <laughs> this is, this is how it ends. Um, we will bring Reese on for Vitasic. He's a team leader, but he's just not having a good day up there. Reese is a more natural striker, so maybe we'll get something from him. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Is there anything we could have done? I should add, I'm recording this before uh, the first one has gone out. So if you have given any advice in that, apologies. I, 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 I am recording this before it comes out. Um, yeah. We haven't done badly. You look at the match stats. We haven't done badly. I mean, ultimately, we did lose it in the first leg. But, you know, you'd like to think we could maybe have come back from 2-0. Um, I mean, Bailey Wright just letting the ball float over his head two or three minutes in. Oh, look at Reese Gardner. He's got the the whole of Cardinia Park, and he can't find the finish. Oh, I mean, he took his time. They didn't close him down. There was still... Yeah, he still had the almost you know, the width of the penalty area even when he took the shot. Another ball into the box. It's a Cotamidi that's over the top. I mean, we've at least been their equals, haven't we, really? It's just been a matter of them taking chances that we've gifted them and us not taking else. It could so easily have been 2-0 the other way. I really, really honestly think it could have been Burgess now with the ball under a little bit of pressure and isolating himself further. He's done okay there for, I tell you what, for a centre-back. Ball in. There we go. Pasquale picks it up. It's back for Connor Chapman. 
Chapman for Pasquale. Back for Chapman. Pasquale. Yes, can someone make a run in here, please? And he's lost out. And there's a ball over to Elkerson. And we know how this ends, don't we? Oh, good save from the goalkeeper to keep us in the game on the night, if not in the tie. Ball in. Burgess clears. We've got Georgie there. What can he do? Maybe look out here for look out here for your fullback, mate, or your winger. I'm not quite sure who it is. Georgie's running. <laughs> He's run 200 meters to go 50 meters forward. That's okay though. Back for Connor Chapman. Can he pick a pass here? He goes in for De Silva. Chapman, Economides. Oh, he goes through Economides. He's looked good. He looked lively. He still can't find a finish though. The signs are there. We could be a decent team here. It's it's. It's really a shame, actually, that, um, yeah, we couldn't have done a little bit more with this. I'm wondering, Economides not having a good day. We do have Williams we could look to bring on. He's looked dangerous, though, Economides. It's just, it's his finishing that's letting down. The Silver, that's a decent pass. You could see what he was looking to do, but just not quite on the same wavelength as Georgie there. And we find ourselves under a little bit of pressure here as Guangzhou come forward. God, I thought we might be able to nick that there, but... No such luck. Can we get a foot in here somewhere? It's looking as though it might be a Guangzhou highlight. A third goal does unfortunately sort of kill it for us. Not just the tie, but on the night as well. I do. I hope we score a goal. I think we've been worthy of that. De Silva's intercepted that. Read it like a book. Can he find Gardner in the middle? Oh, he's still going. Daniel De Silva. What a run this is. Go yourself, son. Score goal of the season. He's pulled it over the top. We did work on chance conversion ahead of this game as well in training. And... Another night, we could so easily, we could so easily have won this game. De Silva goes again. It's there for Gardner. He's into the defender. Blocked. It's, oh, it's a poor back pass. Gardner, he still missed. Oh, my God. I tell you what, even at 2-0 down, we, this could so easily right now be 4-4 on aggregate. It arguably should be 4-4 on aggregate. We can not score to save ourselves, and we've had the chances. We haven't played badly. We're just you, we're really, really missing a striker, aren't we? And you just wonder if if uh, we could have registered uh, Di Garcia, if that could, or Gracia, whatever his name is, if that could actually have been the difference between us going through and going out here. Come on, boys, let's get creative. We don't need to get creative. We just need to take our chances. Burgess back to Aladdin for Chapman. Chapman out to Economides. Economides, if he goes on another run, off to De Silva. De Silva has looked absolutely brilliant. There it is Gardner. Oh my God, the finishing on this kid. I t I've almost seen enough. Who else can play up front? Um, Economides can go up <laughs> Wait a second, we've seen him finishing as well, haven't we? We don't have anybody else. Um, Georgie can go up front. All right. Sorry, Gardner, mate, but you've been absolutely horrible. You've missed two absolute sitters. Um, and let's try a third striker of the game up front and see what happens. Oh, there's a good ball for Tillo. Tillo's in. Can he square it? Will he go himself? Marco Tillo, he sticks it in. We finally got a goal. Hallelujah for that. It's too little, too late. But finally, somebody has come on. It's a cracking pass, isn't it? Their fullback's fallen asleep. Tillo's got in, and finally, somebody stuck it in the back of the net. Marco Tillo, last goal wins. That's the rules in the Champions League, isn't it? That's how it works. I'm sure of it. Much, much better. Let's give them some praise. I really think we've, we, I think we've been the better team. You, uh, I, I, the worst thing about this is it's. I just have so much regret. If we maybe kept it tighter in the first leg. Uh, the problem is too is that we're in pre-season. Which, which really, really doesn't help. We're going to get better you know, every more every competitive game that we play. So we haven't had ourselves done any... It's like sort of the Russian teams in in, uh, in European leagues, isn't it? Tillos. Of course he's injured. Now we're going to find ourselves down to 10 men. And it's just been that sort of a day, hasn't it? Um... All right, let's do that, and let's play him as a sh shadow striker, perhaps. What can you do? What can you do? There it is. Well, we lose 2-1 on the night. It's a shame. Two early goals have cost us. We looked a lot better when we took Bailey right off, didn't we? Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just one of those days. It's just, just regret.
So there we go, Western United defeat in the Champions League quarterfinal. We did okay to get to the last eight. I just feel like having got there, we somewhat let ourselves down. Uh, it's just really, really frustrating. Anyway, guys, let's get over that quickly. It's time for the end of season awards and then goal for season. But let's see who gets the Golden All-Star uh, for this season. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Western United end of season awards. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a wonderful crowd. Thank you, everybody. Well, what do we say about that? It was a decent enough season. We're A-League champions. Let's not forget that. Champions of Australia. No one can ever take that away from us. Uh, and obviously, it's a little bit disappointing to have gone out uh, so close, but yet so far in the Champions League. But I think we've showed that we're a good team and we can face anybody in Asia and give them a very, very competitive game. So I think for the team, both the ones that are currently here and the ones that have departed with their contracts expiring, well done, boys. I'm very proud of all of you. You're going to go on and have wonderfully long, successful careers of that, I'm sure. Congratulations, boys. But of course, tonight is all about awards, so let's get down to it and get the first award out of the way. It's the Golden Pen, awarded to this season's signing of the season. And he came on a free, and he was worth so much more than that. It's Dario Vidicic. The next award is the Golden Card, awarded to the player with the worst discipline. And this season, he was unhappy with me all year long. And he took out his frustration on the pitch with five yellow cards. The winner is Tyrese Francois. <laughs> the next award is the Golden Bullseye, awarded to the player with the best pass completion rate. And this year, it goes to a little achiever in midfield, a quiet achiever in midfield. He was Mr. Reliable all year long. It's Sebastian Pasquale. <laughs> And the next award is the Golden Spoon, awarded to the man who feeds the strikers, the man with the most assists. And this year it goes to a man, I, I would not have picked him at the start of the season to be honest. He has been an absolute rock of the team. He's been a member of the Socceroos all year long as well, with a stunning 17 assists from right back. It's Josh Risden. The next award is the Golden Anchor, awarded to the man who we can rely on, the man with the highest average match rating. And this year there are a number of players in contention, but he was another of the quiet achievers, just chugging away at left back with an average of 7.38. It's Corey Brown. The next award is the Golden Soother, awarded to the baby of the team, this year's best young player. And this year it goes to somebody who came in on loan and was absolutely amazing. He was loved by the fans. He banged in the goals. He got his own song all the way from Ipswich Town. The winner is... He will score on you. He's Ben Follow Me. And the evening is rapidly winding down, but we do now have one of the big ones. It is the Golden Boot, awarded, of course, to this season's top goal scorer. Now, we actually had a dead heat uh, for the Golden Boot this year, but courtesy of playing less games, the winner is... I hope he hasn't sat down yet with 14 goals. It's Ben Follow Me. Now, before we get to the big one and announce this season's Player of the Year, it is only right we take a second to acknowledge this year's Team of the Season. Now, if you do just direct your eyes up to the screen, you will see that the goalkeeper is Kurto. The back four is Brown, Wright... Burgess and Risden. The midfield duo is Francois and Pasquale. The wingers are Ali Abbas. He didn't play out left all year. What's he doing there? And of course, uh, Josh Thomas, the Walsh Wizard. Vidicic is the number 10. And the striker is Ben Follow Me. Congratulations, guys. You've all had a stunning year, except for you, Ali Abbas. I don't know how you got in there. Congratulations. And now it is time to award the Golden Star who is this year's player of the season as voted by you, the fans. And this year, there was only really, I think, one man that fully deserved this honour. And with 54% of the vote, he's going to get it. As voted by you, the player of the season is... Josh Risden! 
So there we go, that's all the awards handed out, and that brings to an end not just the evening, but my time at Western United. I want to take a moment to thank the fans everywhere, both in the auditorium and at home. Uh, your support in the stadium each week has been greatly appreciated, and I hope with an A-League title that my time here will be fondly remembered, even if we have a little bit of a sour taste in the mouth after that uh, Asian Champions League campaign. But I want to congratulate all the players, not just the winners tonight, but everybody who's been a member of my team uh, while I've been here. I've loved you all. I love you, the fans, as well. I will hope to be back one day. Enjoy your evening. Thank you, and good night. So there we go. End of season awards done for the season. Josh Risden, I think, a very worthy recipient of the, of the Player of the Year. 54% of the vote ahead of Corey Brown, who faded uh, towards the end of the season, but I think he, he was good early on, wasn't he? So 20% for him. And Dario Vidasic did get a lot of goals, um, joint top goal score, even though he didn't actually end up with the golden boot. Uh, so well done to them. Tyrese Francois got goal of the season. His really good strike against Warriors FC back in the uh, Champions League qualifiers. Uh, we do have our own uh, goal of the season competition, of course, so there'll be more on that in just a second. Dario Vidasic signing of the season, not bad for a free transfer. Uh, and Ben Follow Me was the young player of the year. You can see the team of the year over there as well. I have a serious problem with Ali Abbas at left wing ahead of Diamante Ottillo. Um, but everybody else there, I think, is just about fair enough. Uh, and, of course, the goal, uh, um, got top goal scorer, was a, it was joint between Vitasic and Follow Me. Follow Me played less games, therefore he got the golden boot. Corey Brown, highest average rating, uh, 7.38. That kind of confirms, I think, why he was so high up in the player of the year voting. Josh Risden, 17 assists from right back. That is an absolute just fantastic, fantastic tally. Sebastian Pasquale, quiet achiever in midfield there, 92% pass completion. Congratulations to him. Uh, Dario Vidasic, most man of the match awards, not something we give out on the night, but a good effort nonetheless. And it was Tyrese Francois. He loved the booking, and he, I think he was a very worthy recipient of the golden card uh, in the end there. So there we go. That is the end of season awards. It's the end of the series, guys. Uh, it was always just going to be a beta series, but I hate ending. I really do dislike ending a series because I always just feel like I, you get into it, don't you? And I just think what could have been in this situation. But I might continue this on as a personal save, perhaps, and do Twitter updates. The problem I have with personal saves is that I never find the time to play them enough. So um, if I do continue it as a personal save, I will put updates at Twitter, maybe at the end of every season. But I just don't think I'll have time, to be honest. But that brings us, of course, to goal of the season. Now, uh, the way this works, if you are new to my channel, is there will be the Tyrese uh, Francois goal, which was given uh, by the game as goal of the season, as well as three others that I deem worthy as, uh, as having the, the title. Uh, and then at the end of this compilation, you'll be able to vote. There'll be an eye at the top of the screen up there. Uh, click on that and be sure to vote for your favorites. But before we get to that, uh, there is, of course, a few honorable mentions. Not maybe goal of the season material, but definitely worth a second look. But that's it for Western United. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do hit thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because we will have new series with Barla Town of Wales trying to win the Premier, the Premier League. The Champions League with them. It's going to be a big, big, long-term mission. Hopefully we can do it. Make sure you watch that to find out. And of course, we will have a first star challenge with Leeds United. It's a wonder. That, it's a miracle almost that this team has never uh, won uh, Europe's top trophy given the sort of the dominance they've had in English football in the past. And of course, they've had the, what, a strain or two uh, in their past as well. So I've got a soft spot for Leeds United. So that's all coming up um, in the next day or two once everything is, is sort of fixed up with the, with the game, with the attributes issues that there is. Um, it may even be out by the time you watch this. So make sure you go and check that out, guys. But until next time, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Western United. I'll see you next time. Take care. Here are our top five goals from the 2021 season. Don't forget to vote for your favorite.